All right, uh, Shalom. Just want to give all praises and glory and honor. Do unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Raka Kadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well and that I learned the truth from. Much blessings unto you. And may Yahweh Shai be with you through spirit and truth, okay? The same goes on down to the rank and file who follow Yahweh Shai and who are trying to just do the right thing in sincerity to the best of their ability, all right? May Yahweh Shai be with you as well. Okay? So uh, the title of this lesson is going to be called, Don't Settle to Be the Cool Guy. Okay? Now before I get started with the scriptures, I'm going to get into the word cool. Okay? It says, Old English call means not warm, but usually not as severe as cold. Moderately cold, neither warm nor very cold. Figuratively of persons, unperturbed, undemonstrative, not excited or heated by passions okay so basically um really to be called cool or the word cool it really just means to be lukewarm okay and um you don't want to be that guy in the truth that's just cool you know that's uh that, that looks good you know uh who 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 looks a certain way or whatever or who acts a certain way who just does enough you don't want to be that guy you want to be that guy that's on fire because a lot of guys who are cool, or who were cool, they got kicked out, or the or the Lord weeded them out, all right? And now they're back in the world being a little boy. Because if you're cool in this world, you're not really a man, okay? Real men aren't cool. You're really a little boy, being foolish, all right? So don't settle to be that cool guy, that lukewarm guy. The Lord's not dealing with guys like that. Okay, so let me let me move down on here. It says slang, use of use cool salakia slang use of cool for fashionable, is by 1933 original, originally African American vernacular. That's right, and that's the problem with that's why you know it stated African American, because that's the problem with you 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 tribes, especially Judah, man, the Southern Kingdom. That's all you really like to do. Be cool. All right, and that's why you use that word because you want to be fashionable. You want to have that swag, you know. But the Lord, that's why that's why you're you're in captivity because you're trying to be cool, be lukewarm, not serving Yahweh Bashem Yahushai with all your heart, okay? Because that's the greatest commandment, and it's not gonna look cool while while you serve the Lord in the eyes of the world, man. Okay. All right, so uh, let me get a scripture here, man. This is uh, Revelation chapter 3 and 16. So then, because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Okay? And that's exactly what's happening to certain men. You know, if, you, if, you're, if, you're, if you're being called cool all the time when you're in this truth, you should really fucking check yourself. Alright? Because the Lord ain't dealing with cool guys. You want to be the guy that people, everybody hates, but at the same time, they expect you to get the job done. And really, that fits Yahweh Shai's character. He was like that. Everybody hated Yahweh Shai, but they depended on him to get the fucking job done. Okay? He wasn't some cool guy walking down the block in Kuji sweats. Okay? That's not how Yahweh Shai came back. He was on fire, and he got the job done, and he came on a mission and completed it. Okay? And he's still not cool, okay? Because there's a scripture where it says, I will not drink or toast until, um, in fact, a matter of fact, let me get it. Let me get the scripture, actually. I don't want to paraphrase it, right? Toast, right? Uh, let's just put the word. There we go. That's what it is. Matthew 26 and 29, right? I remember this scripture. All right, Matthew 26 and 29. It says, But I say unto you, I will not drink henceforth of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. All right? So, you know, the Lord ain't resting. He's not being a cool guy. He's on the grind, man. He's still on fire. All right, even though he was perfect and he completed everything still, he's still on fire. He doesn't have his hands in his pocket. He's not worried about the fashion of this world. All right? 
he's keeping it moving. And if, if Yahushai came back right now, you wouldn't call him a cool guy. You would call him either arrogant, austere, an asshole, okay, mean. You would all you people would say those type of words, man. He wasn't nice. Okay? Alright, so that's how you have to function, man. Okay? Cool being cool will get you killed. Alright? So stop using that, man. He's cool. Man, fuck being cool. You want to be the guy that's hated, man. All right? Being cool is, 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 was okay maybe 10, 15 fucking years ago, man. We're in the time of fucking hate, man. It's not time to be fucking cool. Come on, man. All right? And this is just a general message to anybody, man. I'm just, I, I'm just in the spirit, and I, and I looked up the word cool, and this is what came to my mind, man. All right? So um, let's get how the Lord came back, man. This is Zechariah chapter 9 and 9. Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout, O daughter of Jerusalem. Behold, thy king cometh unto thee. He is just and having salvation, lowly and riding upon an ass and upon a colt, the foal of an ass. All right? And back then, you know, a, riding, riding upon a donkey or an ass, that was seen as uncool back in the day. That's not kingly. Okay, and by the way, this king is, is what it's talking about is Yahweh Shai. He came back lowly, and he came back riding on an ass to display how you're supposed to be. You're not supposed to be looking cool as a man of the Lord. All right? Let me get the word lowly. All right? Let's get the word lowly. This is a poor, afflicted, humble, wretched, poor, needy, poor, and weak, afflicted, wretched, right? Salak, yeah, I had to just do something real quick. But yeah, where was I? I was uh, looking up the word lowly here, right? And uh, it's pronounced uh, Ein Ya, right? In the Hebrew. And it says uh, poor, afflicted, humble, wretched, poor, needy. Poor and weak, weak, afflicted, wretched, humble, lowly. And now a lot of men have that problem coming in that spirit, man. Lowly, you know, humble. Okay? They want to be cool and bring bring the attributes of the world into the truth. You ain't going to last too long if you're thinking like that, man. All right? And, and I've seen examples of men who were cool or, or who looked good in a certain way. You know, they came in, uh, they said their scriptures, blah, blah, blah. You know, they looked a certain way, they could speak good, but they were just faking it. You know, they, they were more worried about the things in the world, okay? Those guys don't last too long, man. Like I said earlier, you want to be the guy that's hated. You want to be the guy that everybody hates, but at the same time wants you to do the job. And that's exactly how these people in the world are when they look at you. You know, they fucking hate your guts, but when it comes down for, for you performing a certain task, they want you to get the job done. Okay? Alright? You'll see it when you go through your daily life, whether you be at work, whether you be at school or whatever, because you have younger brothers who are in school still, in their teens. Alright? Whether you be, uh, uh, even, even on your daily life, man, when you're going to the damn store. Okay? Alright? Depressed. In, let's, let's also get this here. Depressed in mind or circumstances. Afflicted. Humble. Lowly. Needed. Okay, somebody who's cool ain't going to be depressed. All right? He ain't going to be afflicted, man. That's a cool guy. He just, he's just riding, riding the wave, you know? All right, so uh, let me get another scripture here. Let's get uh, Isaiah chapter 53. All right, I'm going to go a little bit into it. All right, this is really how Ashiah is talking about here. Who hath believed our report, and to whom is the arm of... Yahweh revealed. And you know, that is a good question because when we talk about Yahweh Shai today, you know, you, you people don't believe the report that we're giving you from the scriptures, man, the prophets. That's why Isaiah said it this way Who hath believed our report? Okay? Because we're reporters of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. We're telling you that Yahweh Shai is coming back to bring judgment. He wasn't cool. He's upset. You know, he's angry with the wicked every day. Psalm 7 and 11, right? Angry with the wicked, pissed off. Okay, and he ain't resting until his kingdom is established. 
all right? And it says, and to whom is the arm of Yahweh revealed? And the arm represents his strength, okay? Because Yahweh Shai, he's coming back in arms to bring arms to this place, okay? He's the right-hand man of Yahweh, the Father. Verse 2, for he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of a dry ground. He hath no form nor comeliness, all right? And that's a part of being cool in this world. You have to look good. You know, you got to look good. You got to have swag. You got to look beautiful, so-called beautiful. Be into cosmetics. The Lord wasn't into cosmetics, man. It says no form nor comeliness. He didn't look too good, all right? He looked rough, okay? And when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire of him. That's right. And that's why the men of the Lord, you're not desired in this society. People call you a bum. People are going to say, cut your beard off. People are going to say you're ugly. You know? People are going to say you have no swag. You don't get bitches or whatever. Or whatever the fuck these people want to say, man. Alright? They're going to just shame you. They ain't going to desire to be around you. Alright? And that's something that a cool guy can't deal with. A cool guy. You know? Alright? Verse 3. He is despised and rejected of men. That's right. Yeah, I wish I was despised. Despised mean hated. Rejected means uh, to be um, shunned. Rejected of men. Okay? A man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid as it were our faces from him. He was despised and we esteemed him not. So, you know, this is, this is obviously showing you that the Lord didn't come back cool. Because if he was cool, people would want to be around him. Everybody would gravitate to him. Everybody in this world would gravitate to him. Think about it. Let me get a scripture. This is uh, 1 John chapter 2 and 15. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. All right? And a part of the loving the world, uh, not loving the world is not trying to be cool like how people are being in the, in the world. Not trying to be fashionable like these people in the world. All right? So let me get the word fashionable. Okay? Characteristics of... Influenced by or representing a current popular trend or style. And that's what this world is following. And by the way, the fashion of this world is demonic fashion. Okay? And that's really popular right now. All your entertainers. Okay? All your, all, all your, all your uh, mighty men that are into sports. That's the fashion of this world. Okay? Popular. Okay? By the way, the Lord, ain't, the Lord ain't running a fashion contest or fashion show. And this isn't a popularity contest, man. The men of the Lord weren't popular. Okay? Alright, let's, let's, let's... Also, we're just talking about Yahweh Shai. Let's use the men of the Lord in modern biblical times, man. Okay, starting with Great Millstone, the elders and apostles on down. They ain't fashionable about this world. Let's be frank. Nobody likes the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, man. The only people like that like the elders of apostles... The elder apostles of Great Millstone are the, are the ones who are following Yahweh Shai. And that's it. Alright? But the whole world, they hate them. Okay? And they tell you that. Okay? On a daily basis. Okay? So fuck the world, man. And fuck being cool. Alright? So, uh... Yeah, that's basically it. You know, uh, you pretty much got the point. You know, yeah, yeah, I wish I wasn't that cool guy, all right? And being cool will get you killed. And with that, I just want to give all praises and glory and honor due to, due to Yahweh Bashem El Shai, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well and that I learned the truth from. May Yahweh Shai uh, continue to be with you in truth and sincerity. And uh, may Yahweh Shai be with the elect on down. And, may, and peace to the elect. With that, Shalom.